Welcome to Back to the Bible. Devotions for the Christmas season, Journey to Bethlehem. How to make Christmas last all year? In my readings of the Christmas story this year, I made note of five ways to keep the spirit of Christmas fresh in my mind and in my heart throughout the years. Each is found in Luke chapter 2. The first one is keep the joy in your soul. When the angel announced the birth of the baby Jesus to the shepherds, he said, "Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people." Luke chapter 2 verses 10. That joy came because of the angelic announcement that God had provided a savior. It's not the announcement of the birth that brings you joy. but the birth itself happiness may come momentarily because of the christmas present we receive but joy lasting joy comes only from receiving god's christmas presence to us his son jesus christ the second one is keep the praise on your lips when the angel of the lord announced the birth of the long awaited messiah suddenly There was the angel of multitude of the heavenly host praising God. Luke chapter 2 verses 13. These angels had nothing better that they could do than praise God. Neither do we. After the shepherds had seen the baby Jesus, they returned to their flock, glorifying and praising God. We can see that in verse 20. No doubt their praises lasted for days or months maybe even all year And the third is keep the glory in your life Fear swept over the simple shepherds And lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around about them and they were so afraid Luke chapter 2 verses 9 the glory spoken of here is the shekinah glory of god so how are we to keep god's glory shining on our lives if we haven't seen it remember his promise the lord will give grace and glory No good things will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Psalms chapter 84 verses 11. God has promised us grace and glory if we live righteously. Just learn from God's word what he delights in and then do it. The fourth one is keep the story on your tongue. If you saw the angels and heard him announce the birth of savior if you experienced the shekinah glory shining down on you could you keep quiet about it the shepherds couldn't this kind of news just bubbles over of course if we focus on the shopping the presents the tree and all the trappings of christmas i suppose it would be easy to be quiet about the real story of christmas but if the story is important to us if we've been changed by it we should love to tell it and the fifth is keep the savior in your heart the essence of the angelic announcement was unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord luke chapter 2 verses 11 There are two proper responses to this glorious news. You can tell the story to others. That's what the shepherds did. Or you can ponder the events of Christmas in your heart. That's what Mary did. We should do both. Suggestions: Check yourself on the five guidelines. on the first day of the next 3 months mark your calendar god bless you